my name is gagan sethi uh, i'm a i'm a job seeker in my religion uh, as as you know that guru nanak is the founder of our religion is he a muslim that's my question but that was the question our young brother who's a sikh comes from india he says that he's a sikh and the founder of his religion is guru nanak he asked me the question was guru nanak muslim or not brother muslim is an arabic word which means a person who submits his will to almighty god anyone who submits his will to almighty god he is a muslim now since i did not meet guru nanak personally i cannot say definitely whether he is a muslim or not but i have read the guru granth sahib that is the sacred scripture of the sikh and sikhism is a religion which believes in 10 gurus the first who's the founder is guru nanak sahib and the last is guru gobind sahib but they asked me the question do i consider guru nanak to be a muslim if i read the guru granth sahib if i read the first verse first volume first verse is known as japu ji of guru granth sahib to an adi granth the first volume first verse is called as japu ji it says that almighty god is true he is the creator he is free from fear and want he is self existing he is eternal he is great and he is compassionate now based on this it is somewhat similar to the verse of the quran of surah ikhlas chapter number 112 verse number 1 to 4 which says qul huwa allahu ahad says allah one only Japu ji also says that he is not begotten. Say the Allah one and only. Allah has summed. Allah, the absolute and eternal. Lam lid wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufanad. There is nothing like him. Again, if you read in Sikhism, Sikhism is a religion which is a monotheistic religion, and it calls Almighty God as a Omkara in the unmanifest form, and manifest form is called as Omkara. and there are various attributes he given to almighty god in the guru granth sahib in sikhism almighty god is also called as aqal eternal he is called as kartar the creator he is called as sahib lord he is called as parvardigar the cherisher he is called as rahim the beneficent he is called as karim the benevolent he is called as wahe guru the one true god now based on these readings of guru granth sahib based on these i think that guru nanak was a muslim muslim means a person who submits his will to almighty god but what the scholars say that this sikhism is religion that emerged in the latter part of the 15th century in the land of punjab in the land of the fire river and the scholars say it's an amalgamation of islam and hinduism that's what scholars say that based on these verses guru nanak believed in one god he believed that god was begotten he had no images he was all powerful i personally have not read about guru nanak whether he believed in prophet muhammad peace be upon him or not i don't know personally personally i haven't met him but based on these teachings it seems to be that he is a muslim seems to be whether he was or not i don't know but unfortunately as time passes there is corruption in it like if you ask me was jesus christ a muslim undoubtedly jesus christ peace be upon him was a muslim why quran says that tul al imran chapter number 3 verse number 52 that isa alay salam was a muslim but there's no verse in the quran saying guru nanak will be a muslim so based on the verse but if i read the bible if i read verses of the bible what jesus christ says it proves that he is a muslim but there are other interpolation in the bible there are concoction in the bible which undoubtedly cannot be the word of god so i cannot attribute this to jesus christ peace be upon him but if i check what is right whether what the bible says because quran says i believe isa alay salam was a muslim abraham alay salam was a muslim surah imran chapter 3 verse 67 he was not a jew or a christian he was a muslim so because the quran clarifies i have got no doubt 
As far as Guru Nanak is concerned, because Quran does not verify, but seeing the verses, I consider you may be they were the Muslim. But what you have to realize later on, as I said, there was corruption in the Bible. Even here, what we find that people have started worshiping the Guru Granth Sahib. Guru Nanak didn't say you have to worship the Guru Granth Sahib. They even have, if you go to the Sikh temple, other things which are deviations. So based on these deviations, I cannot say that they are Muslims. But go back to your scripture. If you go back to your scripture and believe in Almighty God, who is not begotten, who is one, who has got no images, and worship Him alone, then you will go back to the original faith that is Islam. Hope that answers the question.